This may look like a city in space from a science fiction movie, but... Believe it or not, it's actually a sericulture farm. The cocoons spun by the silkworm here fluoresce in the dark. Silkworms have coexisted with people since ancient times and supported people's livelihoods, but what is happening to them today? Naro has developed a genetic modification technology that creates a completely new type of silkworm. The silkworm egg is pierced with a metal needle and an ultra-fine glass needle is inserted to inject a gene for fluorescent protein originally found in jellyfish. When the gene for fluorescent protein is incorporated into the silkworm genome, the silkworm that hatches from that egg uses an organ known as a silk gland to produce silk containing fluorescent protein. When the larva is illuminated with blue light and a filter is placed over it, its abdominal area glows and you can see that the fluorescent protein is being made inside its body. The fluorescent protein is contained in the fibroin layer of the silk thread and when the time comes to spin its cocoon, the larva ejects fluorescent thread. This is a one-piece dress made from this fluorescent silk. Changing the gene allows the creation of red or orange colored silk that glows in the dark too. Genetic modification of silkworm also facilitates the creation of various kinds of silk other than fluorescent silk. Naro researchers have also succeeded in developing ultra-fine silk and enabled the making of this scarf with very soft texture. Turn it into fabric for clothes and the difference in the surface smoothness and shine are obvious. Inserting spider genes into the silkworm genome has resulted in the development of high toughness silk that is strong and highly ductile. It is used to make durable fabrics and surgical sutures. Thread is not the only thing that has been developed. Several components of cosmetics and testing kits have been developed using the highly water-soluble Saracen layer. These are cosmetics containing human-type collagen made from the Saracen layer. This is a testing kit for patients with metabolic bone diseases such as osteoporosis. And this is an amyloid beta assay kit that is useful in research on Alzheimer's disease. These have been developed using the Saracen layer. Today, there are high expectations in using silkworm to create high-value-added proteins and pharmaceutical agents, which until now were difficult to make. Genetic modification technology has turned silk into a dream material with huge potential. With the continuous efforts of Naro researchers and the cooperation of more farmers and companies, Perhaps a day is not far off when sericulture will be revived as a major industry in Japan, just as it had propped up the national economy in the past. <laughs>